Hello, beautiful Taurus. Thank you for stopping by. This will be your daily read for the energies uh, that you're dealing with today. And so without further delay, oh, um, I'm using um, some Dark Mirror Oracle cards to uh, look at our shadow self, look at what we're working on, okay? I've pre-shuffled, so let's give it one more for Taurus. <clears throat> okay, what shall Taurus take a look at? The energy we got number 19 Parasite. What is it that you are? doing with um, the lack of what shall I say the, the, you're either letting some people that are bad for you uh, suck the life out of you or you are harming yourself as far as um, the way you feel about you so uh, look we have nine plus one it's ten break it down that's a one so this is a beginning and it also corresponds with the moon the correspondence is a, a waxing crescent so um, that'll be uh, important to the moon cycle when it might be time to deal with this issue you know it's either a situation where you're the predator or the victim, but either way, it's perpetuating this cycle out of needing, being hurt, um, wanting to save this relationship or this connection so much so that it becomes toxic. And, you know, like a, a leech, it kills the person it poisons him as much as its host so and if it sticks around it's a lose-lose situation you know sometimes um, we have to learn to let go even though um, we fear it it's better to make the fast rip of the band-aid than to clean up a shitload of baggage later and I mean, it keeps us from having healthy relationships. If we keep that poison inside of us, it, it attracts people exactly like we are feeling. Uh, and two, two parasites don't exactly work really well, right? They'll destroy each other. So let's see what the cards have to say for your message of today the energies that's lying under the surface this is something <clears throat> you have addressed recently or you have not and need to okay and right now you know the retrograde it's gonna bring people from the past in bring up past issues and relationships so this might be an issue that you need to confront so that you can move on to something new. First card, Emperor. Emperor is sure of himself. He doesn't say things twice. He's, he says it and people do it. Maybe um, one of your defenses is uh, being bossy, being a tyrant. Expecting the other person to do what you say or see, you only see your opinion is good, you know, palatable. Next, we have the Eight of Swords. Um, you know, this isn't something you have to hold on to, but you're choosing. You're choosing it, and so maybe you're, you're using, maybe you're the victim, not the predator. Even though this emperor would, I would assume, you know, that's the predator. Because he's so uh, in his power. But this, this is where you're holding yourself. Maybe you don't believe 
you have that much power to get away from this or stop doing this. Uh, but obviously you do if you have the emperor. You just got to believe in yourself. And there's a lot of stuff that you hold in and you don't say to your partner. You can't have a relationship if you're hiding things. If there's things under the surface that you don't speak about. So discuss what it is. With, I mean, discuss with yourself what it is that's going on here. Because you'll know. It'll come to you why you do this. Whether it be childhood patterning or it be uh, the effects, the residual of a relationship that you had or a dynamic you had with your parent. Ah, the Queen of Coins. Now, you're very, you're very sure of yourself. You're probably beautiful and gorgeous. Uh, and you wield, you know, your uh, independence. And that is great. You gotta own who you are, okay? And this is saying you are, you, you can. These two in the middle are the holding back, but these two, who you are and what you can be. Now, don't doubt yourself in this, uh, in this time. Hey, this is good. Wheel of Fortune. It's going to keep turning. Make sure it turns in your favor when you uh, make these changes. Be strong so it will. I mean, this is uh, up, to, up to the universe, up to spirit. Look, it looks like um, a little kid either pointing at the stars or uh, hitting something with a baseball bat. <laughs> and it seems kind of a, a contrast there, a wide one. Spirit's on your side. Spirit's here to help you, says it's possible. And so you just got to be brave and step into it. The freedom it'll bring is far better and worth Stepping into this area, I promise. Okay. So, this is your daily energy reading, Taurus. And I really hope that you have a great day.